All right, Jason, so uh, what are we going to be making today? Today we are making a beer marinated chicken, uh, red potatoes marinated or soaked marinated in a different kind of pesto sauce, as well as marinated uh, zucchini and summer squash. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this dish, what special semblance does it have for you? Honestly, I first looked up how to make this dish out of a uh, Irish cookbook my grandma gave me. Um, it really does tie into my Irish heritage. It's originally a dish called uh, chicken with parsley sauce, which is, well, it's a sauce made with parsley, but it's a cream sauce base. Um, basically, I augmented the dish by doing a beer braise originally, which in the bottom of the roasting pan, I poured beer in it. Instead of using, you know, water as the cooking liquid to help braise and infuse flavor into the chicken from below. The dish that I prepared tonight is an augmentation again of my beer braised chicken and that I used the beer in the marinade to grill it. It's so hard to watch you pour out a beer, but I know it's going to a good cause. Uh, um, why did you choose going into culinary, like the culinary arts? Honestly, it's challenging in and of itself, and there's something... There's something about culinary. Every time you cook a dish for someone, you're sharing a part of yourself. You are sharing a part of who you are and what you are and where you've come from. You're sharing a story, be it from your past, be it from where you want to go, or even from who you are right now. And that's what culinary is to me, that's what cooking is to me, it's sharing those stories through food and have you ever, and I truly mean ever, seen anyone happier or any group of people happier or more communal or more a part of one another and at peace than when they're sitting there sharing a meal. Another thing is about using a mandolin. Always use the guard. It slices fast, it slices clean, it will slice your fingers off. Do you know any fingerless chefs? My dad has actually had his fingertip taken off. <laughs> Your dad has had his fingertip taken off. Cut off by a mandolin, which is why this is the only one that was buried in my mother's kitchen. So why do you prefer to buy from a local grocer versus some sort of big chain? Uh, the money issue and the fact that the money stays within a sphere of influence in the local economy rather than going out of the you know, local economy to be spent by some corporation in a different state or you know, a different sphere of influence. The money stays in your area with what you care about. That and a lot of the times local shops and local you know, mom and pop places care more about their product. You may, it may cost you a little bit more, but you end up getting a better product a lot of the time. Chicken. It's about ready to flip. Pick up the brick. Yeah, chicken's stuck too. Ooh, that's right. Watch for flare ups. Ooh. There are so many ways for food to go that only the imagination of those who prepare it and who those are interested in feeding in the future is the limit. And that is beer marinated chicken and pesto marinated vegetables on a grill. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I'm really sorry you don't get to eat it.